morning everyone, Tina Spalding, Trance Channel here today for our daily Course in Miracles lesson together. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are doing lesson number 195, Love is the Way I Walk in Gratitude. Gratitude is a lesson hard to learn for those who look upon the world amiss. The most that they can do is see themselves as better off than others, and they try to be content because another seems to suffer more than they. How pitiful and deprecating are such thoughts, for who has cause for thanks while others have less cause, and who could suffer less because he sees another suffer more? Your gratitude is due to him alone, who made all cause of sorrow disappear throughout the world. It is insane to offer thanks because of suffering, but it is equally insane to fail in gratitude to one who offers you the certain means whereby all pain is healed and suffering replaced with laughter and with happiness. Nor could the even partly sane refuse to take the steps which he directs and follow in the way he sets before them to escape a prison that they thought contained no door to the deliverance they now perceive. Your brother is your enemy because you see in him the rival for your peace, a plunderer who takes his joy from you and leaves you nothing but a black despair so bitter and relentless that there is no hope remaining. Now is vengeance all there is to wish for. Now can you but try to bring him down to lie in death with you, as loose, useless as yourself, as little left within his grasping fingers as in yours. You do not offer God your gratitude because your brother is more slave than you, nor could you sanely be enraged if he seems freer. Love makes no comparisons, and gratitude can only be sincere if it be joined to love. We offer thanks to God our Father that in us all things will find their freedom. It will never be that some are loosed while others are still bound, for who can bargain in the name of love? Therefore give thanks, but in sincerity, and let your gratitude make room for all who will escape with you, the sick, the weak, the needy and afraid, and those who mourn a seeming loss or feel apparent pain, who suffer cold or hunger, who, or who walk the way of hatred and the path of death. All these go with you. Let us not compare ourselves with them, for thus we split them off from our awareness of the unity we share with them, as they must share with us. We thank our Father for one thing alone, that we are separate from no living thing and therefore one with him. And we rejoice that no exceptions ever can be made which would reduce our wholeness, wholeness nor impair or change our function to complete the one who is himself completion. We give thanks for every living thing, for otherwise we offer thanks for nothing, and we fail to recognize the gifts of God to us. Then let our brothers lean their tired heads against our shoulders as they rest a while. We offer thanks for them, for if we can direct them to the peace that we would find, the way is opening at last to us. An ancient door is swinging free again. A long-forgotten word re-echoes in our memories and gathers clarity as we are willing once again to hear. Walk then in gratitude the way of love, for hatred is forgotten when we lay comparison aside. What more remains as obstacles to peace? The fear of God is now undone at last and we forgive without comparing. Thus we cannot choose to overlook some things and yet retain some other things still locked away as sins. When your forgiveness is complete, you will have total gratitude, for you will see that everything has earned the right to love by being loving, even as yourself. Today we learn to think of gratitude in place of anger, malice and revenge. We have been given everything. If we refuse to recognize it, we are not entitled, therefore, to our bitterness and to self-perception which regards us in a place of merciless pursuit, where we are badgered ceaselessly and pushed about without a thought or care for us or for our future. Gratitude becomes the single thought we substitute for these insane perceptions. God has cared for us and calls us son. Can there be more than this? Our gratitude will pave the way to him and shorten our learning time by more than you could ever dream of. Gratitude goes in hand in hand with love. And where one is, the other must be found. For gratitude is but an aspect of the love which is the source of all creation. God gives thanks to you, his son, for being what you are, his own completion and the source of love along with him. 
Your gratitude to him is one with his to you, for love can walk no road except the way of gratitude. And thus we go who walk the way to God. And that is our lesson for today. Lesson number 195. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. Let's see what Jesus has to say today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus and you have so much to be grateful for. You are here residing in this temporary vehicle, giving you the opportunity to find love. What a thing to be grateful for. You have been given the means to transform your mind from suffering to peace. What a wonderful thing to be grateful for. You are given many encounters with your brothers and sisters, opportunities to forgive. What a wonderful thing to be grateful for. Your body seems to function and get you moving around the world in which you have this purpose. What a wonderful thing to be grateful for. You have so much to be grateful for and yet the mind can find that one thing that it does not have or that one trespass that somebody has committed against you and the multiplicity of things for which you could be grateful disappear in the darkness of judgment and the belief in sin. When you judge, when you believe in sin, when you focus your mind on that person, that one person in the whole world that has done something wrong that you decide should not ever have been allowed, you give up the entire world. You give up the the peace that is your natural right. And it is a choice. You do it through free will. You do not realize because nobody has taught you the consequences of judgment. But here we teach you the true consequences of judgment. To judge another, you lose everything. Your peace, the appreciation of every single thing around you, because you know that when you have a resentment running around your mind, when you have a hatred chip on your shoulder, Everything disappears except that low frequency thought, that belief that you have that you keep going back to. So forgive, walk in gratitude and know that you will be rewarded with love. A connection to love, a desire to love, a knowing that you are a loving being. When you use your free will to judge, you, you unplug yourself from the source of all love. And you feel terrible. You mistakenly blame the other person for their behavior, making you feel bad. But truthfully, it is your judgment that has made you feel bad. And it is a choice. You do not have to do it. Gratitude can be the thing that you turn to, to make you realize just how insignificant those minor trespasses are that people have or make. They are nothing in comparison with peace and love and the ability to be happy. I am that one that you know is Jesus, and I will speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.